Well, tonight, a Little Rock mother says she can't find closure until she knows who killed her 21-year-old son. Good evening, and thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. The death of Jaden Shackelford marked the second homicide of the new year in the city of Little Rock. Now his family is urging those who know what happened that night to come forward. Andrew Epperson is live in Little Rock. And Andrew, they say the people who might have some answers to all of this are not cooperating with police. The family says someone picked up 21-year-old Jaden Shackle for January 8th and then took him to the hospital after he was shot. So the family says this person may have some answers but isn't willingly giving them. It's not fair for me to not have my child. You might see signs like this across Little Rock. Justice for Jaden. Every day I'm in a post with justice for Jaden every day until there is some sort of justice. Cottom's co-owner Aaron Griffin says she put one out to keep Jaden Shackelford's name out there. <laughs> Hoping to figure out who shot and killed him January 8th. No one is talking. No one's coming forward. No one is saying anything. Someone shot the 21-year-old at Meriwether Park in Little Rock after 10 o'clock. That might be the only fact his family's sure about. I don't know if there'll ever be actual closure, but we've, there's got to be, there's got to be something, and somebody knows something. Little Rock Police says an investigation's underway. The report shows others were with Shackelford at the time, but his family's been surprised by their unwillingness to help. Too people talk. There's, there's, it's too many. Somebody you know. knows something. Just got to get the right. The right person needs to, to come and say something. With no answers, Haley Shackelford will go on without her son. <laughs> and baby Malachi will grow up without his dad. He was always with us, or his son. Always. Please say if you know of anything that happened at the park on January 8th, please call the station here and speak with one of the detectives looking into Shackelford's death. Live in Little Rock, Andrew Epperson, Fox 16 News.